Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Good morning. God bless you. And I welcome you specially to this beautiful Thursday morning. And by the grace of God, it's 25th day of January 2024. The verse of the day is taken from Romans chapter 13 and verse number 7. The Bible says, Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, and honor to whom honor. Now, the Bible is a perfect book and a complete book that addresses all parts of the human existence, spiritually, physically, financially, maritally, mentally. Even what someone said the other day, that when you are a student of the Bible, you can never get stuck in life. Why? Because the answer to every situation of life, they are all in the pages of the Bible. Now, describing the life of a believer as it relates to this world or as it relates to their dealings with the political system or the political world or the human world or the economic world. The Bible is so clear that reading from verse 1 of this particular chapter, first it spoke about our duties, our responsibilities to government. Hallelujah. Now, when you are a child of God, there are some certain things you don't allow spirituality to cover your face from doing such a particular tax or particular responsibility from you and I. There are a couple of examples of things we have seen in the body of Christ that have been abused all in the name of spirituality, all in the name of the anointing, all in the name of the, my Bible says, whereas you are not clearly unsure of what the Bible actually said. Let me try to analyze some few of them this morning. Number one, if you are hearing my voice, you are in the, in the school of thought that always abuse the government. You are violating scriptures. You cost the government of the day, you cost the president, you cost the governor, you cost the ruler of the land. Then you are not fulfilling scriptures because the Bible says, pay tributes to whom tribute should be given. And beginning from verse 1 of this chapter, it says you should give honor to those in government. Because without God, there is no way they would have entered in there. In fact, the Bible says at one point or the other, they are kind of ministering to us by the power of God. Hallelujah. So, meaning, if you are a child of God hearing my voice, you are not permitted to curse the government of the day. Even when their policies does not favor you, even when their policies does not in agreement with your beliefs, you can't curse them. What Bible commanded us to do was to pray for them. Number two, you are a child of God. Thank God for the place of faith. Thank God for the place of doing what is needful. But then you cannot carry what is expected of you to do in this physical world all in the name of faith, in the name of spirituality, you violate it and you do something else. For example, a fellow the other day was saying, a student loan, instead of her paying it, she was using it to sow seed. At the end of the day, the government of the day will come after you. Why? Because they gave you that student loan in order for you to be educated. And when you are done, you are supposed to pay it back. Now, you cannot say, um, because I'm using it to sow seed. No, the Bible says that a borrower is a servant to a lender. So the fact that you are borrowed automatically has made you to become a slave to the lender. What then do you do? Scripture also mentioned that it's only a, a wicked man that borrowed and does not repay. Which means you taking that money to go and sow seed. You are violating scriptures. You are a borrower. You are a wicked man. What does the Bible want you to do? Go and pay your debt. Hallelujah. If you want to sow seed, get extra money to sow seed. But as far as your debt is concerned, you have to pay it because scriptures is very clear about our position as it relates to that. There are a couple of things I would have mentioned, but this morning I want to stop at this to let you know very well that spirituality is not an excuse for non-entity. I'll repeat it again. Spirituality is not an excuse for irresponsibility. You see some women are supposed to be home to take care of their children. They are going from one conference to another. You're abusing order. You see some men are supposed to be home to stand as a man, as a father, as a husband. They are going from one mountain to the other. You are abusing privilege and opportunities. You are becoming irresponsible. Can I say something? God punished Eli 
for being a useless father, but a very good pastor. God killed him. Can I repeat that? Maybe this will sink it a little bit. Eli was a very good pastor. So spiritually, spiritually, he was there. But God killed him. God punished him because he was a useless father. So if you are hearing my voice, you are failing in your home front. As a wife, as a, as a husband, huh? you are failing your home front as a son, as a daughter. And you are, you, are, you are taking pride in the fact that you are strong spiritually. You are very weak and very porous. This morning, let us realign our priorities. Let's ask the wisdom of God to rule our life so that we can do the needful as recommended by scriptures. I'll read again. Render therefore to all to whom dues are expected. Pay tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, and honor to whom honor. God bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. The Lord be gracious and be merciful unto you. May the Lord give you peace and ease today as you do the needful as recommended by scripture. I pray the Lord will help you in the name of Jesus and the wisdom to realign your priorities. Receive that wisdom right now in the precious name of Jesus. It is well with you. It is well with your home. It is well with your inheritance. It is well with your children. You will go in peace and come back blessed. No evil shall be for you. No devil will break into your dwelling place. In the name of Jesus, it is forward ever for you and yours. It is progress ever for you and yours. And I cover everyone hearing my voice with the blood of Jesus. It is well with your soul. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you once again. Good morning. And thank you for being part of this devotion. Please share with others. Maranatha.